Hello and welcome back to video 2 in this series. We now have a basic model for us to start working on and like I've said in the previous video this isn't the final model we're going to apply the UVs so we can then work on the textures work on the shaders and then we can come back to the general shape later and make some slight adjustments just to get the proportions right. So what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to work on applying those basic set of UVs and this is a pretty straightforward process and quite simple. So we're first just going to go to the UV editor Now currently the UVs on the main model are a complete mess and this is because we've been editing the model and reworking it and changing the topology. All we're going to do is go to UV, Planar, open the options, make sure the Z-axis is selected and we're just going to project down the Z-axis. Now this is just going to go straight down the front of the model. So just delete the history just to keep things clean. So let's just focus on the model itself. So we'll not bother with the eyes for now. We'll just hide those. We'll just isolate the model. So at the moment, the UVs are projected from the front. So as we can see around the side of the model, we're getting some stretching. What we need to do is open this model up. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to select an edge at the top of the head and then I'm going to select an edge at the base of the spine. If I double click, it will just select all the edges for me. I can then just cut that seam, which means that when I unfold the UVs, the back and the top of the head will open up. Before I unfold though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in these holes. So I'm just going to select an edge around the opening for the eye and I'm just going to go to fill hole. I'm going to do this for the right eye, the nostrils, and I'm also going to do it for the mouth. What this means is when I unfold the UVs, the geometry that's in those holes will create some tension. And this will result in a much nicer UV layout in that area. So in the UV toolkit, I'm just going to hold down shift and click unfold, which will open up the options. Now I'm going to make sure I'm using unfold 3D, which is the default option anyway, and then click apply. So we just need to add two more cuts here. So this is where the arms are and they haven't unfolded properly. So this is where the textures will pinch. So I'm just going to cut these seams here and I'm going to run the unfold tool again. There and that looks much better. So I'm just going to delete those polygons that I added in when I filled those holes because we no longer need them. Now the problem is if you select and delete in the UV editor, you're just deleting the UVs. So you actually have to do it in the normal Maya viewport to delete the actual geometry. So if we see here, we have these really angular edges. And this is because by default, when you use smooth mesh or a subdivision surface model, the edges are set to be creased. So to fix this, we need to go into the model's attribute editor, go down to smooth mesh. We can see that the global default subdivision method is Catmull Clark. So where it says UV boundary, we just need to change this to preserve edges. And as you can see now, the edges of the UV shells are now nice and smooth. So there we have the UV shell. I'm just going to scale this down a bit, just so it fits inside that first grid square. And I'm going to try and get it into the middle. So the problem we have now is this this is a nicely laid out UV shell, but the problem is it's not symmetrical. And depending on what you're planning on doing with the textures, you may not need it to be symmetrical. It may not matter. 
But for me, I'm going to be using Photoshop. So ideally, I want this to be symmetrical so I can work on one side of the texture and then mirror it across to the other. So to make it symmetrical, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the side of the UV shell that I want to keep. And then I'm going to open up the Symmetrize UV tool. You click apply and then you're asked to specify which edge is going to be the center that the UVs are going to mirror across. So I'm just going to pick one in the middle of the model. And then once that's selected, the UVs are mirrored across. So I'll just run that undo and run that again just so you can see it more clearly. So there you see, it's now mirrored across and the UVs are perfectly symmetrical. So I'll just turn on smooth mesh again, just press number three, just to soften that out. So now we have the model ready and it's UV'd. I'm going to work on the textures and you can use any method you like. Personally, I'm going to go into Substance Painter and start using that to help me. But once you've got your base textures ready, this is your diffuse, normal, roughness, and anything else you might uh, fancy adding in there. Once you have all those ready, we'll then move on to the next video where we'll start to build the skin shader.